Thirteen years ago, I bought my first clock plans from Clayton Boyer. Eleven years ago, I decided to design my own clock and build it. And this is it. It's been running for the last eleven years. All the wooden gears are hand cut using a scroll saw. The clock is styled after a coal mining poppet head. But there's lead under the trolley that drives the clock. The little one is just got coal in it for style. And this is the way you wind it up once every 24 hours. I've got coal sitting on top of the lead just to make it look like a little coal trolley. As the clock winds down, the little trolley on the right hand side moves up. OK, this is how it works. The coal trolley exerts force down through the string onto the shaft, transferred onto this wheel, and then geared down onto this small wheel, and then to this wheel, and from this wheel onto this other small wheel, which is geared down further to this wheel, and then this small pinion up here, which is on the escape wheel shaft. The escape wheel then has a small amount of force that enables it to tick from the pendulum, and the pendulum gives it the beat. This is a 90 beat clock, 90 beats per minute. Alright, so all those wheels just gear the clock down so that it runs for 24 hours. But on this main shaft here, the main shaft is being turned once every hour as it's directly connected to the minute hand. The hour hand is connected to an outside piece of tube and through this pinion, onto this wheel, and then down to this pinion, and onto this wheel, the once per hour turn is geared down to one turn per 12 hours for the hour hand. Even now, this seems like magic to me, that this clock, made with my own hands, is still running after 11 years and counting. But it's not the only clock I've ever made. There are a number of clocks around the house that aren't running, but now just sit and look pretty. So here are the clocks that are in the house, and then there are a few slides of the other clocks that I've made over the time. It really is amazing what you can do with a scroll saw and a few bits of wood. If you go to my channel, you'll see a number of videos of these clocks and also general woodworking projects as well.